This year's holiday season brought with it the anxiety of separation for many fathers, brothers, sisters, mothers, and employers as several hundred members of the 442nd Fighter Wing at Whiteman and the 917th Fighter Group from Barksdale Air Force bases deploy reservists to the uncertainties of war on the other side of the globe. It's the third or fourth time I've gone back over there, either to Iraq or Afghanistan. It's, it's a tough feeling, you know, telling goodbye. You know, mission calls and you do what you got to do. Just want to get over there and get the job done and then come home, come home safe. As family and friends say their last goodbyes, airmen try to keep their minds occupied with a game of hurry up and wait. These last days together are difficult with tears and toys. It's an emotional dance these last couple weeks as you figure out how to let them know that they're needed, but also let them know that we're, we're okay here so they can go do the, what they have to do over there. We have to help out with the little ones who are, as usual, crazy. As the deployers are prodded, the families are proud. It has a lot of courage. For many of these veterans, deployments are old hat, but for others, a first. I'm pretty uh, shaken up about it right now. I'm, I'm nervous. On the brighter side, communication is better between airmen and their families than ever before. I'm hoping we can Skype. I just learned how to do that last night at 11.30. The reservists are expected to return in the spring. For the 442nd Fighter Wing, I'm Technical Sergeant Tom Talbert.